Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of The Warrior, an Indonesian fantasy martial arts film from 1981. Now this is one of those Indonesian cult films that Mondo Macabro released on DVD a while back. Now it was released alongside some other films like Lady Terminator, uh, Mystics in Bali, and Virgins from Hell. And I've only seen The Warrior one time, a while back, but remembered that it was not quite as good as those other aforementioned titles, all of which I reviewed on my channel, by the way. So I decided to watch The Warrior again and see if it would improve upon a second viewing up to those ranks of those uh, Indonesian classics. So let's find out. Now this fantasy flick stars 1980s action hero Barry Prima. He plays Jaka Sembol, a kind of Robin Hood figure who possesses mystical powers. And as a figurehead of his country's rebellion against oppressive invaders, Jaka is captured, tortured, and left for dead. But he returns, even more powerful than before. So in an act of desperation, the invaders resurrect an evil wizard and set him against Jaka in a fierce fight to the death. So the film begins in prison, actually, with our boy Jaka already being captured by the evil foreigners, in this case the Dutch, and forced to pickaxe rock formations with his fellow prisoners. Well, a few of these prisoners get roughed up, they're unjustly beaten, so Jaka leads a group of them to escape by, like, walking up a hill. <laughs> so the escape was pretty easy, uh, all things considered, because you had, like, dozens of armed guards standing around, but uh, these prisoners just kind of like uh, ran away fairly easily, and the prisoners apparent or the uh, the guards apparently did not pursue them very long. But in any case, after they escape, some bald dude shows up. He breathes fire out of his mouth, and he's seemingly invulnerable to conventional attacks. He beats up a bunch of dudes in a fairly entertaining scene, and then he proves his strength in a battle against a bull. And then he decides to go after Jaka for a considerable sum of reward money. All right, so he's working for the bad guys. It's almost like a, a mercenary for hire. And then the evil wizard appears soon after that and things go from there. So from what I've said so far, you probably have an idea that this movie's kind of nuts. And the warrior is known for its amusing moments of absurdity that blend martial arts, black magic, and gore. And thankfully, some of the black magic is actually front-loaded near the beginning of the film. You get black magic throughout, really. And uh, it kind of has a horror vibe to it early on. But this is primarily a martial arts flick, not a horror flick. But it's a pretty welcome infusion of different genres to mix things up. You get a little fantasy, little martial arts, a sprinkling of horror, maybe even some comedy, and intentional and unintentional. And the fantastical abilities of the characters are incorporated into the fights, and they're pretty freaking entertaining. Some of the highlights include the fight between Jaka and the bald dude, and then the first fight between Jaka and the resurrected evil wizard, and then you have a big finale. So those are kind of like the three, the three big fight scenes. Now the violence, it's occasionally bloody, but only at certain times. This isn't like a gore fest, but it does have some gore in it. Uh, mostly chuckle-worthy in its effect, not really disturbing uh, due to the outlandishness of everything. There are a few weird and odd moments that add some novelty. Like, for example, there's, there's a medical transplant scene that's so ridiculous it needs to be seen to be believed. It's definitely a highlight in the film. And then you have the English voice acting on the U.S. release adds to the fun because it's so cheesy. Now, one of my problems with this film is that there is quite a bit of downtime and filler during the middle of the f uh, the middle section, I would say, mostly involving like basic dialogue, drama, or oppression of the people. But it, you know, it does impact the pacing and prevents the film from ascending to the ranks of the best of its kind. But I think overall, this film definitely succeeds at being entertaining at the very least. So if you're someone who is exploring old-school Indonesian cult cinema, I would say check out Lady Terminator, Mystics in Bali, and Virgins from Hell first, then watch The Warrior. It's entertaining stuff, but it's a step down from those other three films, in my opinion. 
Unfortunately, the DVD of this film appears to be out of print at the moment, and it is pretty pricey online. You might want to wait a little while until it comes back in print, or maybe uh, you know, find another way to get it, if you could find it used or something like that. But if you could track it down at a reasonable price, it's worth checking out. The Warrior. And as always, I will see you next time.